Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Light Platinum. And yeah, we're in Central City, I believe. Yeah. And a uh, couple of freebies here. I think uh, Focus Punch. Let's, let's see. There's there's a little bit of freebies in every town. I don't think it's this lady. Right, it's the guy with the crow gunk. Um, also an Ultra Ball, I believe. And the thing I love about this town is right out of the bat, they start you off with... Um, what is it? There's a freebie in this house, but the Safari Zone it says, You're a trainer, you think you can find a use for this? Obtain an amulet coin. I think the amulet coin is the one where you, you attach it to the Pokemon and whatever that. Yeah, as soon as you equip it to a Pokemon, it'll help you on your. Okay. Um, it gives you more cash earned during battles, I think. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong, but. Um, doubles money in battle. Yeah, if the holder takes part. Yeah, so you could just swap them out if you wanted. There's a Pokemon Center. Um, let's see. I don't think this guy is a freebie. They have the capacity to train Circle Pokemon. Let me give you a great Pokemon. Oh, Growlithe, that's right. Um, I want it, but I don't think I'll use it. Like, Arcanine is a really cool Pokemon, but we already have our fire type, so I'm just gonna... Mm, I'll just grab it for now, and then I'll just put it in the Pokemon Center, because I don't, I don't really have a use for it. I like sticking with, like... Okay, here's the Focus Punch. Okay. TM1, Focus Punch. Why is that TM1, like... Did they just start with normal? Because that's a fighting move, so... Oh, check this out. Oh, wait, okay. I thought you'd be able to go behind that, because it's one of those little signs with the faces cut out. Whatever, so there's the Pokemart. Just showing you around a little bit. This is the, uh, the radio TV station. Okay, so there's the TV station, and then the girl with the beanery. Alright, so I'm just gonna go into the Safari Zone. Because the thing about the Safari Zone is, like, whoever... This is a... No, this is the Game Center, isn't it? Oh, Pokemon Contest. Okay. Um, where do you get the, um... The Contest, or the, um... Uh, oh, it's one of the ladies in here. Gives it to I think. Giant, okay, yeah. No, not you. No, not you. You say the same thing your friend says. I've been practicing many combination attacks. I hope everyone in this contest. I've never actually tried a contest in this game yet, so maybe we'll try that. Okay, yeah, here we go. Untain the contest pass. Put the contest pass away. And we'll save this for later. Let's just get out of here for now. I want to take you to the Safari Zone, because that's, like, the best feature in this town. Probably one of the best, like, uh... I don't know what to call these, like, uh... Perks that cities, that cities have. Because, like, you know, in Red, Blue, first generation, you don't get it until, like, way later on. I think it's probably the fifth or sixth gem city. So, yeah, um, the cool thing about the Safari Zone is there's not just one zone. You can pick different ones. Like, you're saying, okay, well, there's only two. Well, how is that much better? But you can go over here, and there are two more. So, I'm going to go through, I'm going to try and show you at least every Pokemon that is in each one. Just, just... To see how cool it is. I think the Pokemon I'm going to try and get is maybe a Sandile or Sandile. I don't really know how it's pronounced, but uh, not Krogunk. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Look at the marsh and the little animation of the walking in the water. I think it's really cool with the rain. I mean, it's like really cool how they did this. Um, no Krogunk. Like as you, as always, there's common Pokemon that are going to show up like in steps. Skaroopy. Mmm. I'll just catch Pokemon for the sake of catching them and having them in the Pokedex. I don't really want to use it in battle, though. Okay, that was really easy. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to give a nickname to Krogunk. I'm never going to use him. I didn't really watch the anime for the fifth generation, but didn't Brock use a Krogunk? I don't know. I think so. There's no actual freebies, like, if you talk to the people inside the Safari Zone. Like, you're not gonna find an HM just walking in here, but, you know. There is actually more Pokemon possible to find in here than just a Krogunk and a Skaroopy, so... I think we keep looking. Nope, so far just Krogunks. Great. Thanks, Krogunk. Speedrun is so... Okay, there we go. It's a Wooper. Um, Wooper's pretty cool. Wooper used to be like, I, I, I don't remember exactly what happened in the anime, but there was one episode with a Wooper that was just like, the Wooper was being the biggest troll ever. I thought it was really funny. Um, no. I'm gonna run. 
Crow Gunk again. Why did I throw a ball? I don't know. Now I have two Crow Gunks. <laughs> another Wooper. Dang, it's... I, I'm pretty sure it goes off steps. There's not, I had another... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just randomly, like, catching them. I'm not really paying attention, but yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure it goes by steps. Yeah, it shows you the Safari Balls. I wonder if you can just leave. Like, if you talk to the guy. Uh, yeah, I do need something. <laughs> Let me out. Um, another Crow Gunk. Come on. It would be really cool if you could find, like, a Feebass right here. I know it's not that deep of water, but, like, if you could fish, because this looks like a place where Feebass would be, like, lurking around in the water. No, Wooper! Okay, I wonder if I could just, like, because I want to get out of here. Um, this? let's talk to some of the trainers. Oh, never mind. Crow I don't want to use you. Okay, um, I'm soaked up to the knees, and I'm dying to get out of this swamp. Yeah, he's he's dying too, and they won't let him out. I wonder if I catch a Pokemon in this little blade of grass if it'll give me anything good. <laughs> uh, another Kroger. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Sandal is in the um, desert area, so I think he'll go there next. Sandal's pretty good when he um, what is it? Second form? It's like uh, Krukorok, or is no? Is that the third one? I'm not sure. Um, is this desert zone? Okay, let's go. Oh, we're gonna run out of money soon. But yeah, aiming for a sand dial. I'm calling up uh, Drillbur. That's probably like the most ugly looking Pokemon I've ever seen before. What is the? What is the one that just sits on the ground? It's called like a stun stun fisk or something. It's just like the derpiest face. Like I don't know a lot of the names of fifth gen Pokemon because I never played Black and White or Black and White Two. Like, I just wasn't a fan of that past my time, but I like hacks like this. They're fun, but it's just, it, it doesn't even look like a Pokemon. It just looks like something out of, um, I don't know, something out of Cartoon Network. That just looks stupid. Alright, whatever. I'm moving on. Sandshrew, what's going on, dude? You're mine. I don't know if, just because these Pokemon are weak, they're being, like, easy to catch, but I really want that sand out, so... Where is it? Um, I might have been wrong about which area it's in. It might be... No, I don't want to catch this. I'm going to have like a whole bunch of duplicates of so much weak Pokemon in the box. Trap Inch. Ooh, um, what is it? Flygon is pretty cool, but that's a lot of training to do, I think. I have to be kind of committed to that. Um, no, I don't want to catch you. No, Trap Inch. Okay. Um, so yeah, I thought this episode would be mainly just kind of go over the Safari Zone, because there's like four sections, and it's it's kind of like a wide range of uh, Pokemon you could find in there. Maybe like three or four per per zone. I think so far it's been like that. Yeah, so I just, I love how they mix in all the generations. Sc scraggy. Um, I'll catch it, but I'm not going to use it. Okay. This catching is so easy. Nope, not gonna catch you, Scraggy. Ooh, Shellos. Come on, Shellos. Never, I've never used Shellos before. Like, obviously, I recognize it from fourth generation, but I've never. Huh? Come on, Shellos. Like, I know you can also use like Pokeblocks, but I mean, obviously, we don't have any, and you can just go closer to it, kind of like a creep, and then throw another ball, but. Yeah, whatever. Not that big of a deal. There we go. There's the Sandow. Nope, Sandow. Do not run away from me. This is the one that I want. There we go. Okay, we got the Sandow. Does that say Slack It? What? Um, it says Slack It. That's kind of strange. And it lolls around for 20 hours every day because it moves so little. Okay, this is not Sandow stat. Yeah, um, why not? We'll call him, uh, Chomp. We'll call him Chomp. Kind of like Champ, but since he's kind of a gator. We'll call him Chomp. Chomp, there we go. Okay, Chomp. You will be a Krukorok someday. Uh, no, I don't want you, Joe Can we leave? Exit? No, that's just exiting that. Um, retire? Yes, please. Okay. 
Um, and the strange thing about, like, even that how complete this Safari Zone is, they don't even have, like, a PC system to access. I don't know, I thought that was kind of strange. We'll just go to the Pokemon Center and release some of the waste Pokemon that I caught. <laughs> I don't know why I accidentally caught those. Um, but yeah. Let's move these guys out of here, because I don't want them. Huh, Wooper, I'm sorry. I don't I don't want you. But I do want Sando. Okay. No, nope, no, nope, party. Okay. Swap it with Crowdunk. Like, Growlithe is actually a really cool Pokemon. Like, Arcanine's one of my favorites. It's just that we chose Charmander, so I don't want to double up on fire, because there's not really a need for him. So for now, I think cause First gym is fighting in normal, I believe. But, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we'll just go back to the Safari Zone, because, like I said, I do want to show you all four of the areas. I think we have enough money. Um, Ice Zone. Costs 500. So, unfortunately, we are going to have to only do one more, and then we'll go back. So I'll just do the Ice Zone. Okay. Or if we already paid for it, I'm not sure. No run. If we could get just Swine Up, that'd be cool. Swine Up's really cool. Um, nope. Don't want to give a nickname to you, Snow Run. Uh, I think that the grass is pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Like, where half of it's colored. Um, come on, let's find something we haven't found yet. Like, uh, I think there's also Spiel here. So, Spiel's really cute. I like Spiel. There's Swine Up. Pile of Swine is always, like, I don't know, that the episode in the anime where the the old man was, I think it's the gym leader actually, and he didn't, Ash didn't even realize that it was the gym leader at the time, or he was just helping him and they eventually like, uh, thawed Swine up out of the ice at the end, but yeah, they were reunited, and then he got the gym battle in the next episode, I believe, whatever. The guy was like separated from his pile of swine because he rescued him and like froze over an ice. Smooch him! That's really cool, because you wouldn't expect to see a wild Smoochum. Like, this game kind of gives you away, like, a lot of freebies sometimes. The, uh, what is that other game? I think it's, uh, a different hack where the starters are, um, where, where am I? Smoochum, ooh, Smoochum is an item. Asperberry. Okay, but Smoochum, Elekid, and Magby are the uh, the three starters. I'm trying to think of what the name is. I can't believe I'm like blanking on that. It might be um no, it's not orange. Um, I can't think of it. But if I do think of it, I will say it as soon as possible. There's Feel. Hey, Feel. It's just kind of cute. It's kind of like demonic looking. To look at those like uh, teeth. Spiel is much faster rolling than walking to get around. When groups of this Pokemon eat, they all clap at once to show their pleasure. So with their little arms, they're clapping and they're rolling around. Oh, that's cute. Um, Spiel eventually becomes a Walren, right? I'll have to look. I'm pretty sure because Walren's really good. And, like, if you get Earthquake on Walren and um, all the ice attacks, it can be like really powerful. So I don't know. We'll have to decide what we want to do. Okay. Um, yeah, let's retire from this one. We might have enough to do the last one, I think. Um, we did the March already, so we're going to do the field. Oh, yeah, we don't have enough. Darn it. That's really unfortunate. Okay. So I guess we'll... So I guess for now, we'll just kind of, uh continue on? I don't know. We'll, we'll make some decisions like with our group. We'll see what we want to do. But yeah, there's the Safari Zone. Kind of quite a variety. Uh, later on in the game, there is kind of, there's a, an area sort of like the Safari Zone, but it's it's between towns. I think it's the, the contest. No, not the contest, but like um, they have competitions for catching Pokemon. Like whoever goes out and catches the strongest one. And that's really cool, but unfortunately... I don't know if they were going to add that feature to this ROM, but it isn't actually accessible in the game. It's kind of just like for show. 
It would have been really cool if they had, they probably had, were working on it, but they didn't finish it in time, so they left it out, but let's look at Smoochum for a little bit. Lonely nature, Smoochum, Lick. <laughs> wow, okay. Wait, why is Lick a ghost type move? Probably because of Haunter. Yeah, Haunter Gengar. Um, what is Scraggy? Let's see. Uh, he heals the body by shedding dark type. Doesn't really look like a dark type. But, yeah. I think what we'll actually do is for now, because we've got Charmander, Elkid, and Sandal. So that's fighting, or no, ground and dark. So we have a dark type. Fire and eventually dragon. And just electric. And electric, I think, is, um... Electabuzz, when he, uh, is he fighting type? Or... Or Electrovire, is he steel? I'm trying to think if there's a, a second, uh, Pokemon type attached there. But yeah, I think we'll stick with these types. Um, just because I don't want to grab, like, four Pokemon and have to, like, go through towns and train them individually, but... Yeah, that's it for, um, Central City for now. Um, like, that's basically everything the freebies, uh... Yeah, working in the mines is very dangerous. Miner's always... Why is he saying that? Because there's there's another town in this game that actually features a mine that you go through. So, dude, go back home. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's doing here. But, uh, yeah. So, I think, apparently, the next direction you're supposed to go is, um, the lake. Which should be, yeah, this way. Um, I, I guess we could do this for a little bit. Uh, we should have healed up. I was thinking we didn't... Okay. Darn it. We probably... Yeah, we should have healed. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like a Pokemon you could catch over here that's like kind of unique to its area. We'll switch in Chomp for a little bit. Super Potion. Spidove. It's like... I know 5th Gen was basically... They, they took a lot of animals and made them Pokemon, but that's been done a lot before so I can't complain. But, like, it has Dove in the name. So I, it looks exactly like a dove too. So I mean, they could have got a little bit more creative with the Pokemon from fifth generation. But, eh. People seem to like it. Look at this girl. It's Spider. Chomp. Bite. And bite's actually a really good move, but it depends who you're using it on. Okay. Sorry about early in the video if there was. I'll have to watch it when it's done recording, but, uh, dogs were barking in the background, the neighbor's dark dogs, I had to go and close the window. So, uh, let's see an elegant. Uh, I found a really cool channel on YouTube that actually has, like, um, the battles from all of, like, the Pokemon Leagues, probably more than that too, but, like, of the actual anime, because I thought that you couldn't have it on YouTube without it being copyrighted and taken down, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of, like, uh, episodes on a channel, like, one, there was one of them that was like 50 minutes long, and it was like, um, the Kanto region, the actual Elite Four, not the Elite Four, but uh, the Pokemon League that Ash does the tournament, so it's really cool. Blitzel, oh, I learned Thunder Punch already. But isn't Blitzel an electric? No, I don't think so. Yeah, okay, I do. Blizzle doesn't really look like an electric type besides kind of that like that uh, lightning bolt on its head. Kind of just looks like a, looks like a dark horse. But you can tell by the charge. It's electric. Yeah. I thought I'd do Pokemon today because I, I've been doing Minecraft and I didn't want to just like push the series aside. Kind of we just started it, so I want it to flow. No. Okay, Spiro, no. Uh, maybe we can just Thunder Punch it, see how well that does. That doesn't even look like a punch, that animation. It kind of looks like, uh, the animation for Thunder. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna end the video here, just simply because time is moving on. Uh, if you liked the video, I'd appreciate a like on it and a comment below, because I'd love to hear what you want to say. If you want to stick around for more Pokemon and Minecraft on the side, uh, hit that subscribe button, I'll be here. And thanks, guys. See ya.